Today's recipe, I'm going to be making a complete fish dinner with fish, potatoes, and string beans, all cooked together in a power air fry oven, so stay tuned. So today we're going to be taking the uh, piece of haddock, a nice piece of haddock that I found at the fish store today. We're going to side it with some wedged potatoes and some string beans. And like I said, I'm going to cook it all in one bake. So today we're going to be taking uh, this piece of haddock here. We're going to be making a full dinner. Uh, I'm going to be making it all in, all in one meal prep in the power air fryer oven. So what you're going to need, uh, you're going to need a piece of fish, about four ounces. Uh, I've got a breading that is a mixture of uh, rice flour, Italian breadcrumbs, some panko breadcrumbs, Old Bay seasoning, grated Parmesan cheese, cayenne pepper. So it's, it's, all, it's all mixed in here together. I put it all together earlier. I've got some potato wedges, just some regular russet potatoes, and uh, some string beans. So we're gonna put this all together into one meal and see how it turns out. I'm pretty sure it's gonna turn out uh, fantastic. I'm gonna take the, the dressing, take the ranch dressing, and just coat the fish. I'm gonna just coat the fish a light coat. You don't have to go too wild with it. There's plenty of flavor in it. Just coat that up. Now you can use mayonnaise, you can use just regular uh, olive oil uh, or some egg batter, that works fine too. I, I just find that uh, if you're using ranch dressing, it adds a nice, nice sweet flavor to the fish. So I'm just gonna turn it over. I, I left the skin on the fish because I like the way that it uh, gets a little crispy when it cooks. If you wanna take it off, by all means, go for it. Okay. Now I'm just going to uh, dip it into the breadcrumbs, the mix here. I'm just going to make sure it's all blended together. And again, I use rice flour. For some reason, rice flour works a little bit better than the, the normal uh, all-purpose flour. It gives it a little bit more of a, a coating, a crust. So that's why I added that in there. So I'm just going to coat the fish in here. You want to get a nice coating on it. Make sure you get the edges edges on here. Okay. okay, put it all in all the little openings here just to make sure it gets everywhere. Okay, and tap it off, make sure get all excess off. And I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take my rack and put it right in the center. Now, I've already sprayed the rack just so it won't stick and the fish uh, will be easier to come off. Just gonna add a little bit more in the corners here. And give it a little pack down, just so the breading doesn't fly off when the fan throw, uh, comes on in, in the power air fry oven. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move this rack over here. We're gonna take the potatoes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set the potatoes around the, the fish and uh, uh, I'm gonna season them first. Okay, so, so what I'm gonna need here is just the potatoes. This is just a single potato. If you're making more than one, obviously you know, use more than one potato. So what we're gonna take first is a little bit of olive oil. Sprinkle some olive oil on there, not too much. And some, I'm using some Himalayan sea salt. Throw some of that on there. A little bit of black pepper. Some granulated garlic or some garlic powder. Works good too. Some dry chives. And if you want, if you want a little spice, I like to use a little cayenne pepper. Just a little sprinkle on there. It's, it's pretty spicy. And we're just gonna toss them around a little bit here. And I'm just gonna lay them across the, the rack here, around the fish, because the these wedges should cook around the same time, about 10, 12 minutes or so, uh, at the same temperature as the fish, about 390 uh, to 400 degrees. So I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna Lay them across the top here. I, I like to sit them this way here, straight up and down. That way the heat runs down across it. It, does, it doesn't block the, the fan. Okay, put that across here. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the, the rack, I'm gonna put it into the, uh, the oven on the second to the top uh, tier. Underneath that, I'm gonna put the string beans uh, in a in a nice steam packet. 
Okay, for the next part of this meal, we're gonna need the string beans. Now these are already been cleaned and uh, the ends cut off or broken off. Uh, pretty easy to do, you just snap off the ends. You can even break these in half if you want them smaller. I like them a little bigger. So we're gonna need a piece of aluminum foil that we're gonna make a, a nice little package for. It. So they're gonna steam inside the package at about the same time that the fish is cooking. So let's season it. For the seasoning, we're gonna need some olive oil, some salt and pepper, some dry chives, a uh, splash of white wine we're gonna to add to it, uh, and, uh, and the foil to make the package. So what I'm gonna do is add the olive oil, just a little, a little bit, because we're gonna add some garlic butter to it. So I'm just gonna to toss those around a little bit, just to coat them over. Oh, get back there. Okay, and some dry chives. Now you can use the fresh ones if you want, that's fine. Add some salt and pepper, a little bit of, and we're gonna add a little bit of uh, sea salt, Himalayan sea salt to it. Toss it around a little bit, okay. Now that we have these all prepped up, we're gonna take our, our piece of tin foil, and I'm just gonna dump them right in, in the center here. I folded it in half to give me a center line. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna take some of my garlic butter. It's ba basically just whipped butter with some garlic and uh, I'm gonna put a little dab in there. And we're gonna give it a little bit of splash of white wine. Again, a little bit, we don't want it to pour out. So I'm gonna tilt the edges in a little bit. Okay, it's also gonna give it a little bit of acidity in there and flavor. Okay, so now I'm just gonna fold this up. Pulse this end up here. And we're gonna make just a little pouch. Let's tie the edges here, roll it here. And fold the edges. The ends of it, you just fold them tight. And you wanna fold them a few times just so uh, just so the liquid doesn't doesn't pour out of there. Okay, here, here. Give a little press here, and there you have it. You have a nice little pouch. I'm gonna put this on the second rack, uh, on, on the second tier from the bottom in the Pyro Air Fry oven, so I'll see you at the oven. Okay, as you can see, I put it into the second from the top here, because the fan is at the top, and it's gonna be blowing down. That's why I kept the wedges up. That way the, the wind comes down and uh, and gets onto the, uh, the second rack that's gonna have your string beans. You just slide it in, so it's on the bottom slot. You get the fish and the potatoes at the top. So, I'm gonna put the door back in. Okay, we're gonna power it up. We're gonna hit the fish setting at 390, and we're gonna bring it down to about 12 minutes. We may have to add a minute or two. We'll check it after about 12 minutes. I'm pretty sure the fish will be done at that time. So turn the light on, take a look how everything's sitting. Okay, and I'll see you when they're done. Okay, it looks like it's done. Uh, I did uh, bump it up to 15 minutes, so you can see it looks fantastic here. Okay, so we're gonna pull this out. Look at that fish, it looks great. Now we're just gonna take it over to the counter. So we're gonna let it cool a little bit. Now it's been out of the oven for a few minutes, it cooled off. So you can see the potatoes, a nice color to them. I did have to bump up the time to 15 minutes. So if you hit the, the fish feature on your Power Air Fry oven, it should be already set for 390 and 15 minutes. That should be enough for a piece this size. Uh, so we're just gonna plate this up. Put the potatoes here. And they're still pretty steamy, pretty warm. Okay, and the fish. Now you can see it's pretty fluffy. It's nice. The crust looks excellent on this. And you can see the juices in that. Uh, the string beans, let's, they should have steamed. Uh, again, I kept that in there for the whole 15 minutes. So they should be well steamed. Just wanna be careful when you open it up. Oh yeah, you can see all the steam coming out. So I'm just going to scoop these out. This 
still very hot. You can smell the wine and the seasonings. Put in there. Okay. And we're just gonna pour these juices right over the top. Okay, gives it a nice flavor. Why lose it? It's all good. Okay. So you can see here, I'm just gonna add a little bit of parsley to it just for a little extra flavor and nice look. So there you have it. There's your fish dinner all in one uh, our air fry oven meal. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try these potatoes. Yeah, and they look like they're cooked all the way through. Hmm, nice flavor to them, nice crisp. Let's try these string beans here. Take one here. Yep, it still has a nice little crunch to them. They're not soggy, they're nice and flavorful. And now for the star of the show, the haddock. I'm gonna just cut it right down the middle here and you can see the juices coming out of this. You know, just pouring right out. And you can see this, this is pretty flaky. Nice and moist and flaky, it didn't dry out at all. This is this looks really good. So give this a taste. You can taste the uh, all the seasoning, that crunch of the panko, uh, the uh, the grated cheese, you can get some of that flavor in there. Also, you get the uh, the ranch. The ranch gives it a nice little sweetness, a little tang at the at the end. But it's uh, really good. I hope you enjoy this meal. If you like the video, subscribe uh, and hit the bell so you get notified when I make new uh, videos. Also, uh, if you like it, share it. Uh, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video.